Hi, this is Shauna from Southern Idaho at So Web of Yarn. You can find me on Instagram, Etsy, and YouTube as So Web of Yarn. Shauna Ethel on Ravelry. I think that's it. Any other links I will try to put down below. Um, so it is the 21st of January 2020. Sounds a bit like sci-fi. 2020. Whoa! <laughs> really amazing. So um, we, I didn't podcast during the holidays much because there were so many vlogs to watch and I figured I would just get lost in all that. And we weren't doing so good. We all got sick during the holidays. So yay, that's over. Finally got my tree down and here we are. Yay. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of stuff done, so I don't have a lot to show you. But I've been noticing that some people have pulling out old projects, kind of showing what they're going to finish and what they're going to rip apart. So I did pull a couple projects out. So I do have a little bit of knitting, crocheting, and sewing today, and a gift from a friend, which was exciting, and just want to say shout out to Michelle. She is a good friend I have out there, and I just, let's see, and Shelly and Janet and some new friends that I'm coming across. That's so exciting. New friends. We can always use friends. So here we go. First off, the knitting. I have made a little bit of progress on my second sock. Not a lot. I don't know how you guys get so much stuff done. It's just amazing to me. Um, so this is my second sock, and if you'll notice, I'm on the heel flap here. I've turned the heel and getting ready to go down towards the toe. So I'm excited about that. And the yarn I'm using is Patton's Croy Sock Yarn. This is the brown Morrow gray colorway I think and then I'm using the flax colorway which is kind of a brownish gray I don't know I like it I think it goes really well but I'm only doing the alternate the plain color I'm only doing that on the heels and toe or on the cuffs and toes for this time um, I'm still using the uh, pattern by uh, Oh, let's see. I'm still using the pattern from Ellie Jones. She's Craft House Magic. And it is her Simple Top Down Socks by Ellie Jones. And it's a free pattern on her website at Craft House Magic. And they live in my little tiny bag. Let's see. I don't know where to put anything. I'm so full up here. Uh, the other thing I finished was, if you've seen any of my other podcasts, I was making this, oh, let's see, where's a good picture of it? Here we go. I was making this little dog sweater for my son's little dachshund, his little wiener dog, and I got it finished and gave it to him at Christmas time. And I didn't get a really good picture of it. That The pictures on my phone, I can't get them to go on my editing program. I have to use my iPad, and I didn't get a picture of it with my iPad, but I did with my phone. So there's a picture with his new, ah, I can't get that to go away, with his new little sweater. I don't know if you can see that very good. 
too much reflection there. But I actually used an old baby yarn for that. It was a Wintuck baby yarn in blue and it fit really well and he likes it and yay, that's good. <laughs> One thing done. The other thing I dug out, um, I haven't got it done yet, but I'm slowly ripping out this other sock because I have a high arch and I couldn't even get this one over my foot. And I'm using a Patton's Croy sock yarn for it. And I don't have the color band, but it's kind of a blue and gray. And then for the cuffs and toes, I'm using this. And this is a yarn from PK Creations, Pamela. And I will put a link to her website. Uh, she had a bunch of mini skeins. Then I, I bought a couple of them and that was one, was that gray color. And I better write that down so I remember to put a link to that. The Craft House Magic Simple Top Down Sock and the yarn from PK Creations. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But I will double check and if it isn't, I will put something along here. The next thing is, you know, it's winter, it's cold, and I'm getting older. Yikes. And I decided I would make me something that I wanted to make me for a long time. And it's just a pair of leg warmers because, yeah, I want to be warm. So I cast on 52 stitches, and I used bigger needles for my cast on so it would be really good and stretchy. And up here, I used a size 6. Was it a 6 or 7? Size 6 or 7 needles. Nope, it's a size 7. And then I changed down here to size nines and then I'm back with the sevens for the ribbing and I cast on 52 stitches because it was divisible by four so that I could do the two by two ribbing and then I just knit I didn't add on any extra stitches or anything and it's I don't know I think I knit I think from here to here is probably about 12 to 14 inches and my ribbing down here is three inches and I'm just I'm just making those there's not a pattern let's see the next thing I have is oh <laughs> this is a finished item these are hot pads that I make my mother used to make these kind of hot pads and I tried a different way of putting them together. So back here, if you can see right down, right down the middle there. Uh, ah, not doing the middle. Right down the middle across there. I did the ladder stitch on that one. And then on this one, I did something a little different. And I think I'm going to unpick it. It's right along here. I just went, I did the ladder stitch, but instead of going between the V's, I went under the V's. And I don't like the look of it as well, so I'm going to unpick that and redo it and go between the V's to do the ladder stitch on that. And then I made a, um, just a, oh my gosh, somebody's hair is on there. I wonder whose that could be. I just made a simple towel hanger and I still have to, to sew the button on it. And these are just cotton towels from Walmart. I think they call them bar towels, but they come in different colors. They're 100% cotton. 
and this was just um, this is some yarn that is from Hobby Hobby Lobby I love this yarn and it's a variegated blue but I don't have the tag so I don't know what the color is but if I find it I will put it in the show notes which there will be a link to my show notes because I put them on my blog and the lighting isn't good in here today. I don't know why, probably because it's cloudy and cold outside. It's actually 40 degrees outside. It's not super cold because there's not a wind, but it just kind of chills you. Let's see. The next thing I have, this is a project that I'm not going to rip out, that I need to finish and get it done. And it is just going to be a Spider-Man afghan and I'm just using Red Heart yarn which is 100% acrylic and the pattern I'm, I'm not sure what the pattern was I will look it up because it wasn't with this but I know I have it online somewhere so I will look it up in my pattern file and I will put a link to that the pattern that I used for that and that is something I actually do need to finish. The other thing I've been working on is uh, this is going to be a blessing dress, christening dress, whatever you want to call it. And this is uh, this is trico. This is the, the sheer trico, and underneath with the underslip is the satin trico. And then there's one more layer that goes over top of all of this, and it has another ruffle on it as well. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's kind of a curvy ruffle that comes up to the side and then goes back down in the back. And I need to get that finished as well, which I haven't got a lot finished over the holidays. But my other things is I do have some acquisitions, sort of. So this came from a second-hand store that is about an hour and a half north of me up in Pocatello. It's called, um, oh, I can't remember, something Boys Ranch. They have a store, and it's just, I don't know if you can see it too well. I think I had one that I opened. Yeah, I did. So I have, I have one, two, three, four, five of this color. And not quite sure what I'm going to do with these. They're really kind of slippery. They're pretty though. And if you notice, it makes them a little hard to stitch. Because if you, oh, I can't show you that. Why can't I show you that? If you can see, it's like two threads, and uh, the two threads, you know, they, they're kind of, they're open. So, I don't know if I'll try crocheting or knitting with that, but I thought if I used either a bigger hook or bigger needles and made something lacy, but really simple, like just a plain garter stitch something where I don't have to worry about doing other than maybe maybe a garter stitch shawl, a simple one. That would be pretty. Oh, and the colorway on that. I'm not sure there's a colorway. This is called a lightweight three. Requires a four millimeter US six knitting needles. 
four millimeter US six crochet hook, machine wash and dry, and 50 grams, approximately 128 meters or 104 yards. It is Bernat Matrix. And the colorway on this one is, what is that colorway? Tincture. Um, this one didn't come with a ball band. But it's kind of a black with a silver ribbon in it. Silver and gray ribbons, different colors of gray in the ribbon, and then black and gray thread. So, not quite sure what to do with them. I've never had anything like that before. That is so different and unique. The other thing that was at the second hand store and I'm not quite sure what to do with this because I've never had these before and there was no band or anything on them. They are cones so I don't know if the thread is cotton or um, polyester or what. But they were on sale pretty cheap, and I thought I could find something to do with them. So there's a the turquoise color, kind of a turquoisey blue and yellow, and then the pink and black and brown, and then there's three of the white ones. So I'm not quite sure what to do with them and I haven't tested the thread to see if it's if it's a cotton or a polyester. There's also kind of a sage green. Pretty close to color. So that's um, that's it for acquisitions. And then a member of my family has decided to start selling books. So I'm getting a little... Sw oh, wait. I do have one other thing I about forgot. One of my friends here, one of my neighbors, went to New Zealand. Um, her and her husband met there. They were both on missions for the Mormon Church, for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And that's where they were and that's where they met. He's from here, she was from Australia, and now they live here, and they went back for a visit to see some of the places that they were familiar with, and it's one of their favorite places to go golfing, too, because they golf, and she brought me back a calendar from New Zealand. The one thing that I was super surprised about, has a lot of really pretty pictures in it, but the one thing that really surprised me was this picture here. If I can find it. If I can find it. Maybe if I just look, it'll be easier. So we pretty much all know that down in New Zealand there are beaches but I didn't know there was snow and skiing so that was a new thing for me I had no idea that there was all those different climates down there the other thing is a member of my family decided to start selling books so they brought a bunch of books home and I have all these books like here's one with um, American Indians fascinating heritage and there's a bunch of Indian books and then I have some of these are um, published in the United States so these are the American edition I have a bunch of Harry Potter books 
So if you have any ideas where I can sell some of these books, let me know. I, I think I can put some on Etsy. As long as they're 20 years old, I can list them as vintage. But uh, I don't think the Harry Potter, some of the Harry Potter books are close to being vintage. But they're back in the 2000s. And so, you know, like 2000, I think they go up to 2007 or 10 or something like that. So I don't think I can sell them on Etsy. But if you know of a place where I can sell them, I'm a little year leery about using PayPal because I've heard there's a lot of scams on PayPal. So I'm leery about using that. But so if you see some things coming up on my Etsy store books, that's why. So I will talk to you later. And I do understand now why people do these podcasts every week because then your stuff doesn't disappear and you have to go find it because I've had to go find a lot of this stuff because it just disappeared on me, especially the stuff I would pulled out and put away and thought, oh, I'll rip this out or I'll finish this. The finished items were put away and I couldn't remember where I put them, but I found them. <laughs> You know, just cleaning out too. Well, anyway, I hope you all have a great day or evening or night whenever you're watching this. And I will see you again soon. Bye.